Hello, another video. I'm back in the woods after about one week of being sick. I had uh, had the flu. It's <coughs> rather annoying because I actually don't normally get really bad those flus. They they get uh, uh, they go away like normally in, 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 in just in one day or something but but uh, <coughs> I still have a bit uh, bit uh, uh, some 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 coughing and uh, my, my voice is down and a bit of like uh, how do you say like aching throat uh, so not not completely like not 100% but I just feel like being out in the woods is also something which is really really helpful so I've been the whole day here now also the reason why i wanted to come today uh, was first of all do the review of this uh, pelton and m23 and also i was looking some mushrooms and uh, there's few species in the springtime that i do collect uh, one is so-called uh, korvasieni uh, it's ear mushroom, the, the literal um, translation. I will put the link in the description. Uh, those I do collect, but actually don't eat them. Um, it's it's actually poisonous uh, mushroom, and uh, but and you have to cook it like three times to to get rid of the poison. And I just don't really like the the taste of that mushroom after the boiling. Uh, but I, if I found them i collect them and i give them to friends or sell them to restaurants they're very very popular uh, mushrooms in finland so i don't have anything against it but i just feel it becomes a bit bland after those boiling uh three boilings i know back in the days in finland uh, for example my father-in-law said that they didn't boil them at all so they just uh dry to them and that that was it and he's still alive so i don't know but then the other mushroom is um any moral mushroom and uh those i uh, love uh, but they're quite tricky to find they always come in different places and there's few meadows here in the near that i was checking uh where i have been previously found them uh, but no luck at all so it was just Maybe just a good excuse also to get get in the woods. Uh, yes, so <laughs> for my lunch it's very simple. <laughs> my uh, Finnish uh, pirakka, pirok. So it's just uh, bread with the minced uh, meat inside and then with some mustard. So as simple as it gets. So so no food prep things today. But hey, let's go ahead with the with the knife. Uh, so this is the latest of Peltonen knives. And I think many of my subscribers know, know Peltonen. He has the, the magnificent um, Sisipukko, which is one of the one of the most versatile blade, if not the most versatile blade that I have. It's just a knife that does pretty much everything. It's just absolutely awesome awesome knife um, and that has a long history um, and then there, there came the smaller uh, version M, M, uh, M07 and then this is the latest one so this is like I don't know maybe even not more than a month after the release of this and I wanted also to pick this today because I was searching for the mushrooms no luck but this is going to be i know it for sure i just know it already that this is going to be one of my go-to uh mushroom knives sorry let's grab some water the thing is that uh, this is fantastic neck knife this is really really nice uh, it comes with this Kydex sheet. I don't actually normally like too much Kydex sheets this way around, but this just works fantastically for me. And I like neck knives in general. I know that there is a, a little bit of a 
I would say mixed feelings with with uh, with outdoorsmen uh, about neck knives. I use them a lot, and I have friends that hate them. They got into the, they go in the way and everything. But uh, for me, I do like them a, a lot. I like to use them a lot. But the thing is that I, there's only like specific uh, things that I do with the neck knife. So it's mainly. Uh, like if I'm in the garden, for example, I have to do lots of garden chores. There's often, uh, like one day, I use a lot of. I need an, uh, like I, I just need a knife for me whole day in the garden, and for that I often use neck knife. Uh, but then maybe some like food prep stuff sometimes. Not too much fishing, uh, but the most important thing for me as a, a neck knife use is the mushroom season. So. Uh, like already from July uh, or up to November, so it's actually quite a long season. And then I do use a lot of, of of neck knives. I may have like my belt knife with me. I have many, may have even two blades with me, and then I have the neck knife. The thing is that uh, for mushroom foraging, um, often there's a lot of use for the blade. It, it's often even that I don't really know uh, if I have activity that has more to use in one day uh, for a blade than, than mushroom foraging. Because it can be like 100, 200 mushrooms that I that I go through uh, on one trip. So there's continuous use. And uh, and it's really important. With certain mushrooms, not so important. You can just pick them and, and, and throw them in the bag. But with some mushrooms, you need to check, are they okay? So there's lots of different variations. Also, there's a lot of different blade types that I need to have with certain mushrooms. With certain mushrooms, I have Kephart, uh, for example, with me. So large, larger mushrooms. Uh, that's actually really nice all-arounder, uh, although very large blade, very slicey, uh, or then Brisa Bobtail or something, but also I like uh, to have this kind of all-around what, what I found like great also with neck knives that uh, they're not only for um, uh, slicey things, so let, let me start, let, let me back up a bit so this is not only to be used as a mushroom knife. So great thing about this is that this is also fantastic carving knife. So I, I think this is like one of my, if not the best carving knife that I have. This is such a comfortable the handle. So for me, this is like a winning combo because actually uh, well, I will put a link on the description of a shorts video that I did of this. It's actually pretty slicey with this high scandy. It's extremely sharp. My God, this is unbelievably sharp. Um, then, but then it does the feathers. It does the carving. It's it's slicey, and I don't have that much actually of neck knives that does this. 
Uh, I have the Tikka by Ahti, which is a fantastic uh, Puko make knife, but that actually isn't that slicey. Uh, but then I have the Brisa Bobtail, which is great, very slicey, but that actually isn't very good with actually lousy blade with, with feather sticks or with uh, wood work. So I found this to be, this may be like the holy grail of, of neck knives for me. So I, I, I already know that I'm going to use this a lot during um, the mushroom foraging season. And one uh, thing that I found also interesting is that the sheath, I have it here. Let me check. I have it like this. And the position of the handle is like this, like optimal if I want to, like, I have a fast access. And that's something which is so important for me. Like, I, there's nothing more annoying if you're out foraging mushrooms. You see a lot of them and there's, a like, uh, no time wasted. It's nothing more annoying. Just to, you need to have the knife on. You, you need to have the knife out in. Out in. And uh, on the belt, that's just not going to happen. I actually really... I'm always, I've always been kind of a, uh, always have wondered why they don't make like uh, proper mushroom knives, to be honest. So they're often too short blades. Like, honestly, it's just also one, one annoying thing. Uh, mushroom, I mean, for, for me, they should be at least have this kind of length, but they are often much shorter. But what to say uh, more about the, the design? I just love the overall shape here gorgeous gorgeous design uh, here you have the belt on it logo it's a new one ATCRV2 steel by the way scrapes fire steel and if you look here you see it's kind of thick which means that it's really hand filling you you get the four finger grip this has, to, this has got to be one of the most comfortable neck knives that I have, if not the most comfortable. This is such a pleasure. <coughs> so, all in all, could be my go-to neck knife. This one, I, I really, really love it. So check it out. I'm going to going to use this knife and it going, it's going to be on my channel much more but i'm continuing here i will eat my fast lunch <laughs> and i'm a bit hungry so but have a great weekend everybody <clears throat> thanks for watching